Greetings and thank you for joining me for today's Innovations in Facial Plastic Surgery Update. I'm Dr. DJ Verrett. Today I'd like to talk to you briefly about Mohs Micrographic Surgery. Mohs Micrographic Surgery is a special type of surgical procedure and pathologic evaluation performed by specially trained surgeons, generally dermatologists, usually in their office. The procedure was developed by a dermatologist, Dr. Frederick Mose, back in the mid-1900s. The procedure is different from classic excision with pathologic evaluation. Whenever a lesion is removed surgically, it is generally sent to a pathologist for evaluation under a microscope to determine the extent of the lesion and if the entire lesion was removed. In classic pathologic examination, the lesion is what's called bread loafed. So slices are made through the lesion so that the pathologist may see the lesion itself as well as all of the margins or the edges of the excision. In Mohs micrographic surgery, a slightly different technique is used. The surgeon will mark out the area that he thinks needs to be removed with leaving as much normal tissue as possible. The lesion will be taken out in more of a cup shape and then it will be processed so that when a slice is taken and looked at under the microscope, it only looks at the edges of the excision and not the lesion itself. Therefore, it is very important before seeing a Mohs surgeon that a biopsy is taken of any suspicious lesion to get a diagnosis because the idea is that the Mohs surgeon may not ever see the lesion itself in the specimen that they remove. If they do see the lesion at the edges of the specimen or the margins of the specimen, they will then come back and based on markings that are made at the time of removal of the lesion, they will excise even more of a certain area and continue the process until the, ex the entire lesion is removed. The advantage to this type of procedure is that precise removal of a lesion can be undertaken so that very little normal tissue has to be removed to remove an entire lesion. In classic excisions, an entire lesion is removed along with a certain amount of normal tissue. For certain skin cancers such as basal cell, squamous cell, and select other skin cancers, this type of removal is very successful and has a cure rate of 97 to 98%. This compares very favorably, if not even more favorably, than classic excisions. Certain types of skin cancers though, such as melanoma, require a large section of normal tissue be removed in order to completely cure the lesion. These are not generally amenable to Mohs micrographic surgery. Mohs surgery is usually suggested for lesions such as basal cell or squamous cell skin cancers, for recurrent lesions, and for lesions in sensitive areas, such as the ears, the eyelids, or the nose. These areas are very difficult to reconstruct and produce a normal function and aesthetic look of the area. For certain other areas, such as the limbs, the body, even the neck, Mohs micrographic surgery may be appropriate in consultation with a dermatologist or a surgeon who specializes in excision of skin cancer should be undertaken to determine if Mohs surgery is necessary to remove the lesion before reconstruction. While I do not perform Mohs micrographic surgery, I do work closely with Mohs surgeons. Oftentimes in sensitive areas, the Mohs surgeon will be called on to remove a lesion and then a plastic surgeon or in my case, a facial plastic surgeon will be called on to reconstruct the defect after the cancer is removed. In this way, the patient is able to obtain a cancer-free state as best as possible and the best possible outcome for both aesthetics and function of the affected area. For more information about Mohs surgery, please visit my website at www.innovationsfps.com or visit the National Mohs Micrographic Center or the American Academy of Dermatology's website. I'm Dr. DJ Verrett. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day.